to be a way to appease the dark forces and stop them being so angry with me. I've, I've had enough of the Don King routine, Timmy. Do something with your hair. We tried everything. Please don't get Gib's hair to go down. No demons down in the basement. Give the stuffing out of Timmy. Stand back, Timmy. I'm going down. Stop there, love. Stop there, love. Never been born. Chad, I understand how upset you are. But don't do anything you're going to regret, okay? Don't hurt anyone. No, my father deserves whatever he's going to get. First off, he used my mother, okay? He got her pregnant, and then he wouldn't marry her just because she's black? No, as far as I'm concerned, he bailed out on my mother and me. No, no, you're right. You're right. What your father did was horrible. Gosh, it really must have hurt your mother. Yeah, well, I ain't exactly boo-hooing for her, neither. She tossed me out like a piece of trash. Look, Whitney, I'm from the streets, okay? I know how it goes. I've known other kids who've been dumped by their parents. When I find my mother, I got plenty of questions to ask that woman. Like, first off, why she did it, huh? I mean, why would my own mother get rid of me? I have to stop. I, I can't keep it inside. It has to stop. Eve, I can't take it. Eve, sweetheart, what is it? What has you so upset? I can't keep it inside any longer. I have to let it out. I have to tell you everything. I... Hey, Grace. Mm -hmm. hey, I know something's troubling you. Worried about Eve. She was so tense tonight. I know she's concerned about her patient being blackmailed. And that poor girl that had to give up her baby for adoption. It really hit Eve hard. I mean, not that I'd react any differently. I can't, I can't imagine how it'd be to have to give up your own child. I can't imagine that either. I mean, if I had a child and didn't know where, where she was, I couldn't be a father for her. See them every day, be a part of their life. I love you so much. Never a threat to us and never could be. All we 
you feel for Teresa and her friendship. Pure and simple. Are you sure you're okay, Louise? No, I just... Uh, I felt anything that strange before, like... someone walking over the grave with someone I love. What do you think it means? Uh, nothing. My family and friends are fine. I just... It's just a feeling. I think it's more than that. I think you're right about charity. Just because you're back in home, you don't have to mean you're safe. The shared influence on our stand is your drug cartel is trying to kill you. Harry is very powerful. Sheridan may have very long arms. Arms that can reach across the Atlantic and into the little girl. Um. Goodbye, Mademoiselle Shane. I'm not worried about Sheridan. She's the farthest thing from my mind. Louise, you went all the way to Paris. You saved her life more than once. You're just afraid that, that, that she could be in danger, that those drug dealers will come after her fear and harm her. Sheridan will be fine if she hires private security. Teresa, you're making way too much of this. I had a crazy feeling it meant nothing. Well, it, it, it's gone now. I saw Sheridan with Hank tonight. She's fine. You say so. I'm just gonna get ready for bed. Sheridan. Well, she said she wanted to be alone, so I guess she went home. But you didn't go with her? Unlike some people, I respect the lady's feelings, so I left her by herself. Sheridan Crane is no longer a threat. She's dead. Wait. Finally and permanently. Good work, Antoine. You shared an out of the way. There's no one to link Pierre and me to Jean-Luc's murder or the drug cartel. A bonus will be waiting with the rest of your payment when you return to Paris. You just made me a very rich man. shooting at the wharf. Uh, the victim, a, a woman is dead. I repeat, a woman is dead. My mother was no better than my father. Getting rid of me the way she did. You know, maybe, maybe your mother wasn't in a position to raise you and gave you up hoping that you would have a better life than she could give you. That's how it happens in movies. It happens like that in real life too, Chad. Giving a child up for adoption can be a wonderful and a noble thing. Yeah, well, I can tell you that the people who raised me didn't come from no adoption agency, okay? First off, they didn't work. They didn't live no place you'd call decent, and the only love they had was for a good high. Okay, my mother didn't try to find no good home for me. She didn't go through no adoption agency to try to find me a nice family. No, she couldn't 
care less who got me so long as she got rid of me. What kind of mother would do that to her own baby? You know, Mom says that a bond between a mother and child is sacred. Yeah, well, I guess my mother's different from yours. I can't take it anymore. The pressure's tearing me apart. Sweetheart, you don't have to explain. I know it's upsetting. No, no, you don't know. You couldn't possibly know. Honey, yes, I do. You are taking the problems of your patients to heart. Sweetheart, you are a dedicated and a caring doctor. I see the way you are with Charlotte, the girl who just had her baby and gave it up for adoption. Honey, you are letting these people's problems become your own. No, it is my own. Honey, I know you feel that way. Your commitment to people is one of the things I love about you. That's what makes you such a wonderful role model to our daughters. Hey, baby, but I'm worried about you, okay? And I'm afraid that you're taking all this too hard. You're letting your patients' problems eat away at you. No, there's so much more to it than that, Casey. There's so much more. Baby, please, 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 tell me what it is. Eve Russell? Uh, I'll be right there. A woman was just shot dead on the wharf. I have to go be medically examined. No, honey, no. Let another doctor handle this, okay? The last thing you need is more stress. No, it's my job. It's okay, TC. I'll be fine. I, I need to get out of here and clear my head anyway. Sweetheart, you were going to tell me what's bothering you. I, I can't. Not now. Damn. Dad, is, is Mom okay? Sweetheart, she's under a lot of stress. What the hell are you still doing here? I'm waiting with Chad to find out who his parents are. I don't think he should be alone at a time like this. <sighs> Let's not mention this to your mother right now. She has enough problems as it is without having to deal with Chad. I gotta get a grip on my emotions. I almost told TC everything. But I can't. They found out the truth about my past. They destroy him. into Ethan's room. I heard the shower going, so I got into bed to wait for him to come out. And when he got out of the shower, he wasn't alone. Gwen was with him. She's back from her business trip? She's back in Ethan's bed. Oh, God, what did they do when they found you? Well, they didn't. I managed to hide before they caught me, but it was horrible, Whitney. But I had to listen to it. Ethan makes love to Gwen. Oh, Teresa. I know Ethan has subconsciously fallen in love with me. And tonight he started to, to realize that when we were dancing, I know I was affecting him, but... No. It doesn't matter now. Gwen's back and... And she's got Ethan. I lost my best chance to win him. Both you and Chad had such high hopes for tonight. What's going on with Chad? I mean, 
Didn't he find out about his parents? No, not yet. He's waiting for Crystal to come back with some papers that she wanted to show him. But it won't be long before he knows who he is and where he came from, so... Tell Chad that I'm really happy for him. I will, but I'm not so sure how happy Chad is right now. I mean, so far, everything that he's learned about his parents has really hurt him. He's trying to cover his pain up with anger, but he can't fool me. Well, are you there with him now? Yeah, yeah, we're still at the jazz club, waiting for Crystal to get back from her hotel. Wait, I know you don't want to hear this, but I have to say it. Now that I've lost Ethan, I don't want you to lose out on love, too. No, please, just not this again, okay? Wait, please. I just want you to be honest with yourself and admit that you have feelings for Chad. I mean, you wouldn't be there if you didn't care about him. I just don't think that anyone should have to go through what Chad's going through alone, that's all. Face it, Whitney. You're falling in love with Chad. Whitney tells me that you're waiting for word on who your real parents are. Chad, I'm really happy for you. Because I know for the last couple of months you've been waiting on the truth. And now you're going to find out. Yeah. Tonight is the night. Hey, I thought you'd be a little bit more excited. Uh, don't get me wrong, Coach Russell. I still want this skinny on my parents. But what I've learned so far ain't been too good. The truth is... My parents ain't that much better than the lowlifes who raised me. Well, listen, young man. It's not my place to tell you how to feel. But I don't think you should judge your real parents till you know the whole story. Look, well, Coach, I'm from the streets, all right? I've seen it all. I, I know not to expect squat from most people, all right? And I guess I thought my parents would be different. I guess I'd hoped that they'd turn out to be more like the kind of people that you and Dr. Russell are, and Chief Bennett and, and his family. Turns out, they ain't nothing like y'all at all. Sam Bennett. Yeah. Well, secure the scene. I'll be right there. Sam, what is it? There's been a shooting down at the wharf. Woman's dead. I can hear you just fine, Dim Tim. Oh, no! Timmy was in the dead, too! <laughs> well, I'm dead tired of listening to you ramble on. No, you haven't got a pulse, and you haven't got a heart, and you certainly haven't got a brain, because you're not human. You're a doll. <laughs> and a very melodramatic one at that. So Timmy's not dead? <laughs> no, not yet. Well, don't break out the martinis yet. Our friends in the basement are still very angry with me for not bringing Charity over to the dark side, and I have to find a way to appease them, or who knows what they'll unleash on us next. Again. What's that about up to now? I found a potion in my book, and I'm hoping it will appease our friends in the basement until I can bring charity and her powers over to the dark side. Do you think the fact of that 
strength for Timmy's would make a much better peace offering. Tim, Tim, it's semen appeasement time. <laughs> Denizens of darkness, it is I, your humble servant, Tabitha. I know my job performance hasn't been up to snuff lately. Uh, explain it mildly. But all my failures are in the past, I assure you. And I'm working on a plan for Charity Standish to turn her from a threat into our ally. Soon her soul and her powers will belong to us post haste. In the meantime, I hope you'll accept this humble offering. With its look of blood and its taste as one as fire, let this potion quench your evil. And I do as you desire. Now what? Now we, we wait and see if they accept my offer. Teresa, what's up? I'm just gonna make some tea. Does anybody want to come? No, thanks. No, none for me either. Uh... You okay? Looks like something's troubling you. Let's just say I'm, <laughs> I'm unlucky in love. That's from the family, huh? Hmm. Maybe the next time you go off on a trip, Hank, I'll go with you. No, I, I, I don't think so. Okay. So, what exactly do you do when you go away? Yeah, yeah. I've been wondering that myself. No, well, it's, you know, it's nothing glamorous, you know. There's uh, no danger or intrigue. Check. Certainly nothing illegal. I'm your big brother or best buddy or cops, huh? That's where I left Sheridan. What? Yeah. This can't be happening. It can't be her. Well, wait, hey, I'm coming with you. Oh, please stop. Not even say I'm not Sheridan. She's just how I found her. So no one's touched or moved her? I checked for a pulse. There wasn't any. Well, if you're done documenting the crime scene, I'll need the body turned over so that I can examine the victim. Uh, Kapovich, Jinko, DME needs the body turned over. Oh, my God! Oh, it can't be her! You, you know the victim, Dr. Russell?
it's taken Crystal so long. I'm sure she'll be back as soon as she finds the information on your parents. Wait a minute, that's what Crystal was talking about. What do you mean, Daddy? She said that she knew secrets on people in harmony, but not in a good way. See, what did I tell you? Let's just wait and see what she has to say. Well, listen, whatever she has to say, I don't want you guys to mention this to your mother. She's under a lot of stress as it is at work. Is that why Mom left in such a hurry? Yeah, there was some emergency she had to respond to. Some woman was shot down at the wharf. Yeah, well, Coach, you ain't got to worry about me saying anything to Dr. Russell about my real pants, okay? From the little I know, they don't sound like the type of people that she'd want to know anyway. Truth is, my father was this white racist who didn't want to marry my mother because she was black. And she didn't give a damn about me, neither. She passed me off to the first fool to take me. Chad, I'm sorry. I had no idea. Yeah, well, the perfect family, it's not. That's for damn sure. I can't believe your family would do that. I know E would have a hard time dealing with a woman who would desert her child just because she couldn't have a good home for him. Yeah, Mom is so dedicated to being the best mother that she can be. Yes. Eve's children are everything to her. I can't believe this has happened. Captain, what do we got? Well, crime scene's been secured, Chief Bennett. The medical examiner's examining the victim now. Eve. Brace yourself, Sam. You're not going to believe who's been shot. You mean someone we know? Oh, my God. It can't be. I couldn't believe it either. She was shot once in the back. <sighs> Quinlan. Were there any witnesses? Did anyone hear the gunshot? We've come up empty so far, Chief. But we're going to question anybody who might have been in the area at the time. I don't have to tell you, this is a high-profile case. We have to do everything we got and then some. I really dread doing this, but I have to. I'm going to have to notify the family. I love Gwen. So why do I keep thinking about Teresa? Why do I keep seeing her here in bed with me instead of Gwen? That doesn't make sense. I can't think about this anymore tonight. I've got to get some sleep. I love Gwen, not Teresa. I love Gwen, not Teresa. I love Gwen, not Teresa. There. Teresa's completely out of my mind. No more thoughts of Teresa. Hello?
It's far from over. This is just the calm before the storm. All hell is about to break loose. And I mean that literally. Teresa? Oh, I'm sorry it's late, Ethan. But there's something I think you should know. Teresa, what's wrong? You sound upset. I don't know how to say this. Something happened tonight. What is it? Tell me. Luis got a call a little while ago. A woman was shot down at the wharf. That's terrible. Ethan, the woman could be your Aunt Sheridan. Sheridan shot? Teresa, are you, are you there? Yes. Is she all right? I'm sorry, Ethan. The woman who was shot is dead. But I'm on my way. I'll meet you there. Okay. Please, God, let Sheridan be all right. Did the victim yet? I haven't heard her name, but she Bennett and Dr. Russell both know her. No, I can't be. Oh, and Quinlan said she was blonde. Oh, God. I should have never let Sheridan walk home by herself. No, I should have stayed with Sheridan to protect her. Not taking no for an answer. No matter how much grief she gave me, I should have insisted on her getting home. Well, if I had... Do you know who the victim is? So, Dr. Russell's just finished her examination. Body's ready for transport to the morgue. I came to Harmony looking for. That must be Crystal now. All right, this is it. After all the dead ends and false starts, I'm finally gonna find out who my parents are. You were gone so long, I started to worry. What are you still doing here? Honey, hey. honey, are you okay? What's wrong? Oh, man. Oh. Sweetheart, what is it? And it just can't. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. No one is allowed at the crime scene except the police. 
But you don't understand. That could be my Aunt Sheridan. I have to see if it's her or not. Like I said, no one can cross the line until we collect all the evidence. Please, you have to let us go in. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just following orders. That's my shirt, isn't it? Crime scene. Only the police are permitted in. Wow. You look beautiful. 